Okay, these are pieces by my friend John Hicks. He's very, very young, actually too young to be in the show. But we love John and we let him represent the new generation of this phenomenon. Hello, handsome. to Angelo from Fishbone, Angelo Moore. I can feel the sex <laughs> coming off this rug. Punk rock sex, too. And over here I have Lisa Weger. She is our English correspondent. She's opening the Punk Rock Museum in London. And that'll be coming along in the next two months. Lisa Weger, she's fabulous. She went to Otis Parsons very well known and liked in Los Angeles. Now these are Attila's recycled art, which are made with bags. And they're very cute. Sex pistol collection there. And here we have more Tom Nee's work. This is Rick Wilder's from the Mau Mau's. He'll actually be here tonight. This is Johnny Ho, and Johnny is, was in the Haunted Garage back in the day. This is Rudy from the Stains, old school punker. These pictures are done by Pix Tracy. She's one of our town favorite photographers. This is her punk rock son, born that way. And so we let him be in the show. And this is one of her etchings of Dizzy Damage. It's very cool looking. And I hadn't seen an etching before. It's pretty cool. This guy's super famous, Clowny Royer. Everybody just loves a clown. And who doesn't love the circus? This is a punk rock circus right here. Now, we can come around here. This is Bruce. This is my friend Bruce, who is, okay. <laughs> this is uh, Bruce Kalberg. He created No Magazine in 1978. A little bit, uh, he was like the equal of uh, Slash Magazine back in the day. So this is Texacala Jones, which Tex and the Horseheads was her band. Down here we have John Doe and Exine Cervanka with Dave Alvin, and that makes the knitters when you put them together. Here we have Keith Morris from the Circle Jerks. He's also in a band called Off as well. This is Leaving from Fear, also done by Bruce Calvert. This is Texacala. This is Texas Terry, and she lives in Berlin now. Very famous. That's, that's Tex and the Horseheads. This is Tex Baby Bird. Baby Bird, and she lives in Berlin now. And this is Cheetah Chrome, who was in the Dead Boys. He was also in the Gun Club, and he was in the Cramps. And now he's in Cheetah Chrome and the Monkey Birds, Pink Monkey Birds. And this is a... John Hicks piece because this is the sex and money show. So here's some money. Okay, and this is more of the abstract art here. Uh, young people like abstract art. I personally like art with a meaning. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that art. But it's here because we accepted it. Okay. Um, this is from 
from my home collection, my personal pith helmet collection, which actually Robert Williams collects pith helmets too. This is a Chris Messon and this is a World War I Pantina. This is other drawings. He's from New York. I met him by accident and I like his work, so it's here. And this is another piece of Pix Tracy, fabulous piece. She hand painted this herself. And he's some very famous rockabilly guy that I haven't seen yet. I suppose Looks like what, unknown Hinkson. Yeah, that's who it is. There you go. You know who it is. This is Attila. He's my hairdresser since 1979. I used to be his model. And he's great, doing lots of art right now. And so this is his work. He also does all the best punk rock haircuts in town. And here's another, this is another John Hicks painting. And as I, oh, this is his trademark bunny, which I love the bunnies very much. But I, I guess he thinks, I guess he thinks that punk is two women. So it's hard with the younger generation. I don't think they get what punk is, but we like to keep them in trying to learn. So we don't discourage them. We bring them in and, and subject them to real punk rock. And that's why we're here for punk rock and for you at the Punk Rock Museum. Bye.